Yeah. Okay, we're good. Oh, so yeah, uh, we morning. wanted to bring him on at the same time, but okay, Rory, we'll we'll see you. Uh, Governor, good morning. You want you want the same time? No, nah, it's fine. Whatever. Gov. Good morning, Governor. Good morning, Governor. Hi, hi, hi. Hey. <laughs> I was mesmerized by Rory. Right. <laughs> uh, so, uh, good morning, and thanks, thanks for joining us. Good morning, us. good morning, um, um, Chris and uh, Sabrina and Jason. Uh, let's just thank you for inviting me. Well, let's just start at the uh, uh, beginning, Gov. I know reopening uh, tourism. We just want to really jump uh, right into it. And the governor, uh, there, there was some talk about uh, next month. So, where are we with the? Uh, reopening of tourism and what will it entail when we actually do open up the island uh, for visitors? Well, you know, as the governor said, we really never closed. Uh, we uh, just had to deal with uh, our uh, uh, protocols uh, in certain ratings for the pandemic. And uh, right now, Guam is um, is in peak core three. And with that, uh, we are also deemed as low risk. Now, except Japan, Korea, and Taiwan are low risk. And uh, with that protocol, the governor said that, uh, that we are waiting uh, for them to now set up their protocol where when tourists come here, they do not uh, have to be quarantined upon return. So knowing that uh, we are like thinking outside the box and figuring out how to make this thing work wherein the travel agents in, the, in those three uh, source countries uh, um, might be able to accept their tourists coming back if we did certain things here in Guam. And some of those ideas that we're, we're coming up with, that since we've got a, about 21 P, uh, Abbott, Abbott machines right now, and in about a week uh, that we can, you know, do all those. Right now we can test with some machines at, and you get your results. Uh, in, in 11 minutes uh, to show that you're negative. So we're trying to figure out how to do the testing, maybe at the airport, maybe uh, uh, the idea that we came up with is to privatize the testing, um, have anybody that uh, like the GRMC uh, stay well in all of those clinics uh, seven day at Venice and other clinics that might want to avail themselves to the privatized testing of, uh, of the tourists that come in here um, that when they want ready to leave to go back to their countries that uh, they could uh, wrap their, 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 the cost of the testing at the hotels and go back home uh, and not be quarantined. And also we're trying to use the consul generals from those countries here to, to take a look at the protocols we set where in a tourist would come to Guam, uh, if it's less than five days, then they, they go straight to the hotels. They don't have any quarantine. But if they want to stay longer, the, the procedure is that after day five, they take a test if they want to stay longer. But if we put and secure the, the process, uh, we might be able to convince the consul generals that uh, they might certify that they have been really in a good, uh, safe environment and tell the country that they need not be uh, quarantined when they get back. But I believe that if the travel agents in those countries uh, if the cost is 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 is, is affordable uh, for the for them to pay for their test before they go home, I think they would uh, avail themselves to that. So that's what we're looking at right now. But as I said, we never really closed. We're just waiting for those countries to set their their uh, their procedure and and their and their and their protocol to match ours. You know, Gov, I wanted to uh, follow up on something. Uh, the last time you were on the show. And I apologize, I can't remember exactly what you said, but you did mention uh, conversations uh, that you were having and you were working with uh, some officials in Washington, uh, D.C. Do you, you recall that? Uh, you're talking about uh, carving Guam out of the United States protocols and, and, and status ratings? I, I believe so. Right, yeah, that, <laughs> yeah. One, that one. I remember you yeah. mentioned something about that. Anyway, uh, just last night I uh, received a uh, call from from the person uh, uh, arranging, uh, Juan Carlos Benitez, okay. uh, arranging for my visit uh, to see uh, Doug Hosher in the White House and to see uh, Mr. Peter Navarro and uh, trying to uh, to go there and begin the process of getting uh, uh, Guam carved out of the, of the entire uh, United States protocol, uh, trying to set aside Guam, as, uh, as I said when I was governor way, way, way back, that we are America in Asia mm -hmm. and that we should, uh, that one size fits all doesn't work here. And we're so far off, from, we're closer to China than we are to Hawaii. 
and that geez, we should be really, uh, you know, we're, we're, although we're, 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 we're Americans, that we have the international flavor here. We want to make them feel that don't wrap us in with what's going on with what you do in the United States. I mean, right. we get wrapped up with their, with their dirty politics over <laughs> there where, you know, the mainstream Democrats don't want to close, uh, open up the, the country. And uh, I, I don't know what's going to happen, but Guam is going to be a victim of that. So hopefully I can carry the message there. Uh, the, the, the appointment has not been secured. And uh, hopefully uh, I'll know in the next few days, and then I travel like around the, the 14th or the 15th. Right, uh, Gov. So with these, uh, when you talk about uh, visitors uh, coming from the low risk areas, uh, they get five days before they have to test. So we are now going to be uh, trying to attract visitors for these shorter stays, right? Well, no. These you see, well, when well, there are already shorter stays. The okay. average stay on Guam for tourists is 4.9 days. I see. And that's why they cut off at five days. And uh, but now with with a rapid re uh, return of testing, uh, in, in a matter like I said, eleven minutes, you can get your negativity uh, read out. And so that and if you keep the cost, uh, you know, right now I'm sure. But if you use the government uh, 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 the government costing process, it's going to cost you about one hundred twenty five dollars. Is what it's costing the government from from the CDC out to public health. And uh, so hopefully that we can get it below for $100 to, to test you and get your results in, 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 in a few, uh, an hour or so. You know, uh, Governor Gutierrez. Sorry about that, Gov. Sorry, Gov. Okay, I was, I was talking about Taiwan, and right. Taiwan is, 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 has got a visa waiver. We lost Hong Kong, although we, the, the, the biggest amount we ever got from Hong Kong, I think, was 2017 to 15,000. Then we went down to about 6,000 from Hong Kong. So. That's not a major hit, but Taiwan, we get 25,000 people coming in and uh, with, with only four or five, four flights a week. Uh, China Airlines and Eva Air will come back and we're trying to now talk to the, to the Taiwanese government that, and, and China Airlines and Eva Airlines to increase the number of, of flights per week to Guam. And hopefully they, 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 they initiate one or two flights a week from Taichung instead of Taipei. Taichung is where the university hospital is that 375 of our people went there for treatment. So it's, it's, it's something that we need to replace some of the Philippines, uh, St. Louis and all that, because that thing is going to be a long time coming back. And so we're going to try to convince them to, to look at us for, for, for medical reasons and for tourism and for aquaculture. And they're all setting that up for us because we're kind of forgetting that that, that was a, that's a, that's the goose that, that that never laid the golden egg yet because we never marketed as as much as we should there. Wow, Gov, you you definitely have a lot on your plate. And just real quickly before we let you go and we head into our Decision Twenty Twenty uh, program, uh, the give us a moment cleanup. Yes, tomorrow tomorrow six o'clock in the morning. Uh, if uh, if you want to stay in the shade, come and join the the, the visitors bureau down at EPAL. Uh, we're going to be there, and uh, we're going to show you uh, all the various trash for you to pick up. All right. And, you know, um, Guam EPA, it seems to be Mission Impossible trying to get a hold of David Sue and uh, this whole situation with the parking garage. Can you tell us how did you get a hold of him? Because Guam EPA apparently hasn't been well, able to. I have been, I am, have been in a constant communication. And uh, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, in, in, in my request to Governor Lieutenant Governor Tenorio on his homelessness, uh, the, they had not had relocated those uh, those homeless people down there in the parking structure and out in that particular area. But he has assured me that next week they'll start moving them out. They found a place for them. And so once we start doing that, and uh, we're trying to get Sam O'Hara, who's pretty much watching the, the destination uh, um, uh, committee here, to send four end dumps to come down there. And one, one day we'll just take out all that trash that's been there piled up. Uh, where, where the homeless and even not necessarily the homeless, but thieves hide out there. They they go out there and they watch for the tourists sitting on the beach. As soon as they go in the water, they steal their purses. And mm -hmm. and also uh, one 14 year old was raped over there. Mm -hmm. And so we not only look at it uh, uh, as far as homeless itself, it's safety issues right. and health issues. So we're, Governor Lieutenant Governor Tenorio has put a, a very much a high priority on it. Mm -hmm. And can you confirm, because Mayor Hoffman said that in your discussions with the, the owner of this uh, parking garage that they plan on tearing it down, is that really going to happen? I'm, I'm also in communication with what's going to be built there. Uh, you'll be very amazed. 
uh, the company that bought all of that, that now has control of all that property, the last uh, one that was from Japan uh, had been bought out about six months ago, and uh, there's no more Japanese connection to that. All those properties around there, it's all Taiwanese. A big uh, computer uh, uh, company now has the control of it. They're, I've seen some of the renderings for the hotel and condo there. That's beautiful, and the garage will go down. Oh, so they're going to build a, a hotel and condo there? Yes, beautiful. Gov, and uh, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be the uh, iconic piece when it's built. Gov, uh, you said that they're going to re- relocate the uh, homeless in that parking structure down in Tumon. I thought I heard you say in the hearing that they're, they were going to be re- relocated to somewhere else in Tumon. Is there another uh, homeless shelter? But if it's enough, uh, far, far away enough in that particular building, I, I think we'll be okay. We'll monitor it easiest. As long as you put them in a, a nice, clean shelter, and uh, we have a, a one place where we can monitor them. Uh, we have the uh, the GF4S that uh, has a contract with GVB, and that's part of their responsibility. And we'll, at least we we make one step away from from that particular area where they can't hide out. Mm-hmm. And what was the name of that computer company you said owned that property now? I'm not going to say right now because they have <laughs> none at liberty. But um, you can you can Google all the computer companies and pick one. <laughs> Uh, Sabrina just tried to get slick there. <laughs> Thanks, Gov. <laughs> hey, thank you, Gov. Okay. Right. Okay, go, right. ahead, go ahead and hang up, Gov. You know how to hang up or do you need to go call the grandkids? And, and save travel. I, I, I got it. Let me see. It says leave chat. Yes, there you go. Okay, Gov, take it easy. Bye.